What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of adult age, Dave here again with another unboxing video. As you can see, we're obviously going to take a look at the McFarlane Collector Edition DC Multiverse Starfire figure. Because, uh, it's one of like opening just now. Been looking at it for a couple weeks now. And, uh, she's, she's due. So, we're taking it out of here. So, standard at this point, McFarlane DC Multiverse Packaging. Starfire on the bottom there. Articulation points, blah, blah, blah. A little bit of dust from sitting around. McFarlane toys. Starfire DC Rebirth on that side. Starfire window box there. There's the barcode. Maybe it'll help you find her. Maybe it won't. Beautiful artwork on the back of the package. Let's get her out of here. What do you think? So far, I'm... I'm I'm enjoying the collector edition figures that I have. They've all eventually come out of their boxes. Haven't uh, left one in the box yet. Just not permanently anyway. They've all managed to find a home in my collection. The ones that I have. But uh, she will either go in a uh, Teen Titans or Titans uh, situation or a um, in the background of the Death of Superman funeral for a friend uh, diorama that will eventually exist. I will eventually actually uh, build the damn thing. She comes with a flight stand, which we'll go ahead and take off of the thing. The card here. I don't save the cards or these card backs because they're all the same. And hoik that on the floor. Ah, crapo. I am Butterfingers this evening. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Frickin' flies. All right. I'm all over the place right now. Sorry about all the dishevelment. <sighs> Had to blow the uh, fragments of modeling foam off of it standard uh, McFarlane flight stand at this point I may or may not use it I probably will at some point for somebody if if not her let's get her power effects We'll get the card stand out of here. It doesn't look like it's banded in there. Nope, comes right out. Let's get her cut out of her little plastic prison. And then we'll start taking a look at her. <laughs> Looks like one around the legs. And one around the waist, which I can't get to. So I'll do it from the front. That looks like it. All right. Blade safety, boys and girls. Get her out of here. The hair is a little bit goofy to get it out. <laughs> what a way to come out of the package, huh? Put that to the floor. That will be processed later. We just gently rest her there. 
face down while we look at her power effects. I'm guessing they go one on either fist. Modeled in a clear or translucent yellow green plastic. Very cool. I don't remember which one is which. But I would imagine they key into one fist or the other better. Since we got it zoomed in, let's look at the card. Same artwork as the back of the box. Take it out of there so we can read it. You can pause that and read there if you like. I'm gonna slide that back into the card stand for now. Not really necessary, that card stand. Let's get a look at Starfire. Beautifully sculpted face under here. Not much to say about that, it's just a beautiful face. Nicely orange, looks like a bit of shading to give her a little dimension. Wonderfully green eyes. Nice eyebrows. Whoever painted that face did well. The hair sculpt is amazing. Lots of different swoops and swirls. And obviously, deep red orange all the way down to a light, almost yellow orange down here. The medallion on her chest. Orange skin. A little costume detail running down the middle. The only paint defect I can see so far is right there. That might be a bit of purple or a chip in the silver. Hard to tell. The knee pads are a different color and they actually look a little bit chewed up. I don't think these knee pads were originally meant to go with this figure. What do you think? Because that knee pad does not match up with that lower knee very well at all on either side. That's, that's my nitpick. Uh, that's the ugly spot for me so far. Got heels, which she may or may not stand on. Well, let's zoom out and get a run at the articulation. She can look way down. Obviously, there's no up going to be possible with the hair. I like the dynamic swoop, though. It does kind of go around the the shoulder there and around the butt but it'd be nice if she could look up gets a little bit because it's thin there but you don't get that much there are butterfly joints in there so they will eventually allow mobility a bit of a shrug there which is interesting There's not a lot of room in there to move that might actually even be almost stuck in there she still has a bicep cut it looks like the cuff of the the glove moves around so it doesn't uh, look that ugly really I don't mind that Double jointed elbows, however. Great bend there on both sides. So good range on the elbows. Standard at this point. Um, joint on the wrists. Sorry, I went quiet there, folks. I'm kind of listening to the drip drip of the uh, the closet, the air conditioner. 
our air conditioner has been acting a fool. So, you know. Mid torso. Let's go. No. It's another tiny nitpick with McFarland figures. There's not a lot of forward bend in this upper joint. But there's generally plenty of back bend. Plenty of rotation in the lower. Starfire split. Lots of split there. You can go up. Looks like her butt cheeks hanging out. Is there a thigh cut? Does not look like there's a thigh cut. Hmm. That would have been nice. Double jointed knees. Can't fault the range. Boop. Let's see. This one's a little bit looser. Like, a lot looser. And of course, the... All the range in the toes and everything for that. And let's see if I can get her to just uh, stand with her giant hair. Doesn't look like she will want to. Doesn't have a lot of uh, footprint to, to stand on because the the heels are not flat the the yeah the point of the heel is not flat to the bottom of the foot so naturally leans back a little bit Lean her forward, it bends her toes. And then she's back heavy with all the hair. So, not not the best standing figure. I've actually ripped the hair. Alright. That's why she's so flexible. I've actually ripped the uh, hair glue apart there. All right. Well, that sucks. Maybe I should have left her in the fucking package. Let's check the fist sculpts here. It's hard to see in there. I think that's the left one. Doesn't want to key all the way in. You know, for a beautiful looking figure, it's not uh, behaving in a manner that I'm enjoying. And that's a shame. Because I really, really wanted to thoroughly enjoy this figure. Alright, we're just going to use that one for now. We're going to jam this one on that side. Like so. Maybe I'll go back and look at the pictures uh, at the beginning of the video. And see which one came from which side of the back box. Oh yeah. So distracted, forgot to zoom back out. You know, if you get it just right, you, you might be able to stand. She kind of sort of wants to stand there, but she would, you know, she's not going to be stable. So I'm going to do this, take these off of here. She is definitely 
going to live her life on this flight stand. Or pegged on there. <laughs> Fucking fine. Can't even peg her on there. Yeah, yeah. She wants to lean forward on that damn thing. Maybe with the regular stand, she could stand better. As hard as it was for me to find this damn figure, I can't help but be a little disappointed in it. And that is really, really annoying. I was so stoked for it. And I was really excited to finally have it. And now I almost don't even fucking care. And that's a shame. That that hair being two pieces like that, uh Yeah, that's frustrating. Doesn't stand well. I got a loose knee. The feet uh, they they need new feet on female figures. The hair, uh, yeah, disappointing. That's it. 